Finally, the last tab that is added to your WordPress admin is called Mapify Pro. This is where the batch location is located. So if you click there, it will take you to the area where you can upload a spreadsheet. Um, this allows you to add as many locations as you want and pick the map you want to add it to. So you can kind of get a feel for the flow of uh, how you should edit and upload your maps. Typically you start with adding your map first and then of course your locations and then you would do, um, you know, any unique locations would follow the map but if you want to do a bulk batch upload you would probably do that last. And the reason being is because you wanna be able to choose which map you want to upload the locations to. I would also suggest trying a small file first. Don't upload like 10,000 locations uh, because you're gonna to have to do some trial and error. I mean, it's, it's like that with any spreadsheet. You don't wanna just upload and hope for the best. Um, try five to 10 locations, it keeps it manageable. Once you're okay with the formatting and you know it's working, then go for the big one. Um, we do let you have a sample CSV file, and I'll show you what that looks like by just saving it. Um, this is available in your folder that comes with the download in the extras uh, folder, but also you can just nab it from this page itself. It keeps it, keeps it easy, keeps it on hand, um, and uh, you know, just a click away. Uh, I would recommend customizing this for yourself. You know, put in a, put in your your content the way that you um, would would enter it, and then save that file on your local machine just to keep things organized. Because you never know when you need to do it, or to use it, or to upload a different set of locations. So it's a very simple simple uh, CSV file that we've organized just to keep it basic. You have the title. Let me, um, better yet, let me show you how this translates to a location. So we'll just pick a random, like the a random location I've added to the demo map. And the title, Hello World, is the title of the location. So in this case, it's focus default zoom level on any location. The description is what appears in your pop-up. Here's the description. And here is the field that you would use to enter that full description. The tooltip, as you can see, it's all pretty self-explanatory, but I want to walk you through it. Tooltip, the tooltip is what appears underneath the title. So under that title, the custom tooltip where it reads you control the zoom level, etc. That's the tooltip. Now the address is strictly for Google Maps mode. Um, this will point the location exactly where you want it. So this is really important if you have a whole bunch of addresses that you need to mark on a map. Uh, you can enter the address, then you don't even have to worry about actually adding it to the map. It will be automatically added, which is of course the, the whole point of the feature. Now the city and zip are actually for the image mo mode search. So if I type in Dayton here, I get this result because I have um, I have added a Dayton tag to this location. So you can see even the filtering and search is is controlled via this bulk upload. So, um, and then last but not least, the enable pop-up is the ability to, um, if you just want a tool tip, you can do that. Uh, and you can disable this pop-up here. Um, uh, some people just prefer to have a tool tip. So what you would do is just enter each and every location and specifics down uh, throughout the CSV. And uh, after that is done, you would navigate to your Mapify Pro section, find that file, click Browse. And of course, you'll locate your file. I'm not going to do it for the demo. What this will do is do a cross check to make sure it's formatted correctly, and then it will give you any list of errors if you have any, or if it or it'll say a successful upload. Now, after everything is successfully uploaded, you would go to your map locations, and all of them would be organized there, um, just like any typical WordPress posts like this. Um, so for example, if I had uploaded a spreadsheet with all of these locations, this is what I would see. So you can go in there and kind of manage the fine details of each, but it cuts out, as you can imagine, just a crap load of work.